G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly magazines, and you guys all know that at Fishing Monthly, we love a first. So we have rounded up Will Lee from Yamaha, and this unit, which is the first in the country, Will, what is it? It's our brand new Yamaha V6 Offshore, F300 XSB. So this is a 4.2 litre engine. We've stuck with the block that the Australian boaties and fishermen have become oh so familiar with for its legendary reliability. And then we've added a whole swag of features traditionally only found in our flagship model, which is the XTO 425. Well, I saw the XTO come out a few years ago and it is a great looking motor. Um, and to be honest, the, the, the current motors in your range compared to the XTO look a little bit dated. This look and this technology looks like it's going to drop down through the horsepowers. Just tell us what it's applying to now. What horsepowers can I get it in? Yeah, so look, if we, if we really look at this model today that we've got here, one of the really big benefits that we've now got is DES. What does that stand for? Digital electric steering. It doesn't mean that you've got hydraulic lines in your boat anymore for your steering, hydraulic pumps, or even electric hydraulic assisted steering. This is pure electric steering, which means that it is more simple to install and it gives the user a brand new experience with such fast and precise steering. And if you want to find that, I assume that's what this is here. This big barrel replaces all of the old hydraulic pumps and pistons. And I assume it all plugs into your Hellmaster EX system that we talked about uh, last year. That's right, Steve. The, the, the word that we hear a lot of at the moment is integration. Now, it probably doesn't mean a lot to, to many people, but when you actually step behind the helm of this boat, it offers the skipper so much more. I guess Yamaha has got to a point now where we have fantastic, fuel-efficient, reliable engines. So the next step for us is to enhance customer experience by giving them a whole swag of new features behind the helm. Yeah, and I see that when this motor's fitted up on the other side, and we'll show this in a cutaway, um, there's only a couple of cables and a fuel line going into the boat, gone to the days where there's cables everywhere. The, the fit-up is really neat and simple, and that summarises the look and the, the integration of this motor with the boat. Yeah, exactly right. Some of the feedback we're getting through the workshops right now is that these engines are actually easier to install than a 50 horsepower, which means time saving through the workshop, and uh, boat builders and dealers are really loving it. So. Awesome. Uh, tell us about some of the other features. You say the power head's the same. It's the same very reliable F-Series power head that we've had. But uh, down the gearbox, it looks a little bit different. Tell us what's on, going on down there. Yeah, so we saw it first in the 425. And what it is, it's a reverse thrust enhancing exhaust. Now, what that is all about is in reverse, up to 2,500 RPM, your bubbles, your ventilation are now coming out above the cab plate. What's the benefit of doing that? When we're using our joystick system, our Hellmaster EX system, you now have super clean water. There's no ventilation that the prop's trying to work its way through. You've got 100% clean water, which gives you a much quicker response when you're in reverse. And it just makes common sense, doesn't it? It's not trying to plough through aerated water to grab and, and reposition the boat. And of course, as we've seen with Hellmaster in the past, it's sort of game-changing technology. The, the, you know, nearly locking to a spot with a single outboard motor is the most efficient way to do it and we've seen that in action in the past. Tell us about the, the feedback for Hellmaster EX. I know this is this is like the next part of the, the Hellmaster uh, rollout, I suppose, the fact that it all plugs and plays from propeller to helm. Um, what's the feedback been like for that Hellmaster in the field? Yeah, Hellmaster EX has been an incredible uptake from Australian boaties all around the country. Um, we're getting a lot of feedback from hardcore guys, whether they're deep jigging for things like amberjack and kingies. And then we've even got guys that are game fishing that are, are commenting that they're really loving the joystick and the ability to look at the back of the boat and see all the action going on and simply with one hand control the boat and chase that fish. It sounds like all the skill of driving a boat's gone, mate. It's just, yeah, you know, kid can do it nowadays. Well, that's exactly where we're at. We, you know, like I say, super reliable, efficient engines. For Yamaha, it's all about system integration and making that boating experience all the more exciting for the skipper and easier. Yep. Now, one final thing, if you've already got a boat with some hydraulic steering, are there versions of this motor available with, uh, with hydraulic on it? Like, is, is this an option or is this the must-buy? No, so you also have an option in our V6 range of a 225, a 250, 300, that if you were repairing your boat and you already had it set up with hydraulic steering, we still have the ability for that ball horn to simply bolt onto it. If you're looking at a new boat, I strongly recommend that you check out this, this range, the XSB range that has the DES steering built in. It, it's well worth the investment. Well, that's the buzzword of today. It's the DES steering. We're going to get out of the water now, give it a test, come back to you with some of my, uh, some of my opinions on if a kid can actually do it.
Well, there you go. That's a pretty good looking montage of a good looking boat and an even better looking outboard out on Moreton Bay. And uh, for us, it was all about uh, comparing this version of the Yamaha 300 with the old series, with the old F300, which is such a workhorse and been around for many years. And uh, it's all about, I suppose, the integration. The fact that, uh, that this motor has that built-in DES, digital electric steering, and it plugs into everything else digitally at the helm. So let's run through it again. You bolt this motor on the back, you bolt the fuel and the battery and the control wires into it, and it talks to your digital helm. So you've got your, uh, you've got a standard throttle. It works like a standard throttle, except you've got digital shift, which means it's really, really smooth. Forward, reverse, there's no clunking into gear. There's no grinding the teeth like you used to in the old days. But also, if you wanted to up the ante with that Yamaha uh, Hellmaster EX system, you can plug in the joystick, you can plug in the autopilot and all of it works seamlessly together. Now, let me digress into the autopilot side of things. I have never been a big autopilot user. I've never owned a boat with it on it. But on this boat, it's really, really easy to use. You're setting a direction, you want to hold a heading, you hit a button and it holds the heading and you can adjust the sensitivity of how it, how it corrects right there on the dash. Now apparently guys that use autopilots tell me that this hasn't always been the case. It was always a little bit of a dark art to getting them dialed in so that everybody felt comfortable on the boat. Um, the joystick of course a kid could use it. Uh, uh, the single engine Hellmaster system it is game changing in the industry and it allows you to hold your spot to do close quarters maneuvering and to even steer the boat at low speeds through that joystick and literally a kid can do it. So um, let's jump to the amenity of it now though. You're gonna spend a quarter of a million dollars on a boat like this. You're gonna want that great experience. Now four strokes, of course, they don't have the, the big plume of smoke at startup, but more importantly with this boat, everything is quiet, everything integrates together and everything works with each other to give you nearly that car-like experience. Uh, gone are the days where you have to, uh, have to uh, adjust the throttle and the steering as you're going over waves. You can set the speeds to keep either a speed or an RPM on this outboard. And that saves you uh, effort, it saves your brain power, and it saves you money at the Bowser. Um, and the fact that you can just buy an out basic outboard with the DES and then add those components to it gives you that flexibility. You can, I suppose, be assured you're investing into a system that's going to expand as far or as little as you want to go. Um, let's have a look at the uh, performance of these motors. Um, we got this uh, rig out today on this uh, 720 hardtop cruise craft. It's the same hull as the previous EX685. And when we compare the figures from the old 300 versus the new 300, top speeds are within a couple of kilometres an hour, both, both boats running an 18 inch saltwater series stainless steel Yamaha prop, this rig here 79 kilometres an hour and like most boats it's got a great economical cruising speed at 3,500 rpm where it goes 42 kilometres an hour and you get 1.31 kilometres per litre burned. Of course if you want to drive this thing like a maniac and uh, flip foot to the floor 79 kilometres an hour and you get about 800 metres per litre burned. As for availability, uh, these motors are just about to hit our shores now and you'll see a few in coming weeks and months but availability will increase as this year goes on. For more information on any of these uh, DES motors, visit yamaha-motor.com.au.